Hi everyone, this is Dan with ThoroughCare. As you know, CMS released the 2023 Physician Fee Schedule. I recently sat down with Kerry Nixon of Nixon Quilt Law to talk about all the changes that will be coming as part of the 2023 final rule. In this video, we'll talk about what changes to expect for rural health clinics or FQHCs in 2023. So we have some RHCs and FQHCs um, on with us today, and um, you guys, uh, <laughs> you're familiar with how, with some of the programs, you're left out early on, and then CMS picks you up later. Um, you know, just to give everyone an idea, um, if, if any clinic is classified as a rural health clinic or federally qualified health center, um, they have different types of codes, and CMS created a general code called a general care management. It's built under HICPIC codes G0511. Um, it lumps everything together, all together and mixed up. And you get CCM and behavioral health and uh, PCM. And then they, what CMS did is they took all those programs and they gave you the average rate for all the programs. And so general behavioral health is still there. There's no major changes to it. However, it doesn't really affect your rate a whole lot. So It'll probably drop about a dollar to two dollars. That's what we're expecting. Um, so I, I would plan on, you know, roughly seventy-five dollars for Geo five one one in the new year. Um, for the most part, Geo five one one relatively the same. The big thing that we were hoping for, and I keep my fingers crossed on this one every year. Uh, these groups are just clamoring to do RPM um, and RTM, um, but um, RPM in particular and. Uh, CMS has not put RPM into the mix of GO511, and they have not added another code to do it. Um, um, we are anxiously awaiting that one. Um, you know, had high hopes of 2023. Um, I reached out to the NARHC, National Association of Rural Health Clinics. Um, they shared with me what they urged CMS to do. They, they asked CMS to please redefine an RHC visit to include RPM and RTM services, just like they did with some telehealth programs a few years ago, create a separate G code, allow these groups to bill for these services. And so um, a lot of people are pushing back um, to try to get this done. And for RHCs and FQHCs, um, I think business continues as usual um, and, and unfortunately no RPM for the coming year. Um, anything I missed on that one, Carrie? About yeah, it's just a head scratcher, Dan. There's no good reason for it. Like, I honestly, I think it it has been an oversight each year. Yeah. Fortunate. We'll keep pushing. Right. So we will stay optimistic on this one. If you'd like to learn more about what to expect in 23 or other changes to these programs, check out our learning center. There's links in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it below or subscribe. Thanks for watching.